Welcome to Concise Social. In this channel, we will be covering 10 standard social signs. To begin with, we shall start with Indian forest resources. In this lesson, we will be covering the meaning and importance of forest resources, types and distribution of forest in India, conservation of forest, wildlife sanctuary and national parks in India, and biosphere reserves of India. To start with, we will know what is the meaning of forest. A large area of land covered with trees and undergrowth is called as forest. They are one of the most important natural resources in India. It consists of either natural or planted vegetation. So forest can be natural or planted vegetation. Natural means naturally occurring. So natural vegetation means plant cover that has not been disturbed over a long period of time. It can be grasses, shrubs, trees, all growing on their own. Whereas planted vegetation are plants or trees planted by man in order to increase the forest area. Next, we will move to the importance of forests. They provide a large variety of woods which are used as fuel, timber and industrial raw materials. They provide fodder for livestock that is food for animals and employment opportunities for the people. They preserve physical features, check soil erosion, control floods and regulate flow of rivers. Because of deforestation, the soil is made less stable which can lead to landslides. The physical geography of rivers, mountains, plains can all be affected if a landslide occurs. They also prevent desertification, helps to improve soil fertility, make the climate equable and help to maintain ecological balance. How do they make climate equable? Forests help in balancing or moderating the climate. It helps to reduce heat, increase atmospheric moisture and increase rainfall. Forests also help in maintaining a balance in the ecosystem between human beings, plants and animals. It prevents unwanted climatic change in the world. They also provide shelter to wildlife. Here you can see the uses of forest. They give us oxygen, medicines, shelter, fodder, fuel, sports goods, furniture. The roots of the trees bind the soil together and prevent soil erosion. They also provide us with honey, fruits, gum and lac. It's a natural habitat for wildlife, timber and rubber. Next, we'll move on to the types of forest. India has a variety of forest and natural vegetation which varies from region to region due to variations in climatic conditions, soil types and relief features. So based on these, we have six types of forest found in India. They are the tropical evergreen forest, the tropical deciduous forest, scrub forest and grasslands, desert vegetation, mountain forest and mangrove forest. Here we have a map of India which shows the different types of vegetation found in the different regions of our country. Tropical evergreen forest. These forests are found in areas of heavy rainfall where annual rainfall exceeds more than 250 centimeters. They are found mainly on the western slopes of western Ghats and hills of northeastern states of Assam, Meghalaya, Nagaland, Tripura, Manipur and the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Features of Tropical Evergreen Forest These forests are dense, multi-layered and have many types of trees and shrubs. In these forests, trees reach to a great height of more than 60 meters or above. The dense canopy of trees do not allow enough sunlight to reach the ground. The trees in these forests do not have a fixed time to shed their leaves. That is why these forests appear green all the year round and hence it is called as evergreen forest. Examples of important trees are ebony, rosewood, mahogany, gurjan and champa. And whenever you are learning about these six types of forest, you have to keep four points in mind. Rainfall, areas, features and trees. Here we have examples of trees found in evergreen forest. Gurjan, rosewood, ebony, mahogany. Tropical deciduous forest. 
These forests are found in areas with annual rainfall of 100 to 200 centimeters. They cover the eastern slopes of Western Ghats, including Maharashtra, Karnataka, Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Chota Nagpur Plateau, foothills of Himalayas, parts of Orissa, and West Bengal. The trees in these forests shed their leaves during spring and early summer, so they are also known as monsoon forests. And they are the most widespread forest in India. Some of the trees found in deciduous forests are sal tree, neem tree, tamarind tree and sandalwood tree. Next we have scrub forest and grasslands. They are found in areas having 60 to 100 centimeter of rainfall. The scrub with short coarse grass, thorny trees and bushes are found scattered in Kutch and the fringes or borders of Thar desert. Grasslands are mainly found in eastern Rajasthan, Punjab, parts of the western Ghats and Kardamam hills. Next we have desert vegetation. Desert vegetation can be found in areas with very less rainfall or an annual rainfall of 10 to 50 centimeters. They are found in Thar desert including parts of Punjab, Haryana, Rajasthan and Deccan plateau. On account of scanty rainfall or very less rainfall, vegetation consists of scattered trees and thorny bushes. Some examples are jand, kair, kolko, babul, cacti, etc. You can see the pictures of kair, kolko, babul and cacti. Mountain forest. The trees and plants which grow in the slopes of mountains are called as mountain forest. Plants and trees vary with increasing altitude. Based on the altitude or height, trees differ. They can be broad-leaved evergreen trees to coniferous trees. In India, they occur in Himalayas and to an extent in Nilgiri Hills. Some of the important trees are oak, chestnut, ash, beech, pine, cedar, spruce, fir, deodor and walnut. Examples deodor, pine, fir, oak. You can see cone type trees. Mangrove forest. These forests are found in wet marshy areas in river deltas in saline or other swampy areas along the sea coast. They are also called as tidal forests. They are mainly found in deltas of rivers on eastern coast and in the pockets of western coast of India. The tree trunks are supported by a number of stilt-like roots which are submerged under water. Some important trees are Rhizophora, Canes, Screw Pine, Palms, Sundari trees, etc. Examples of mangrove forests are Canes, Screw Pine, Rhizophora and Sundari. Sundari trees are found in Sundarban deltas of India and Bangladesh. Sundarban deltas are the world's largest delta. Distribution of forest. The total forest area of India is about 7.74 lakh square kilometer. It accounted for about 23.6 percentage of total geographical area of our country. This is much below the 33.3 percentage recommended by the National Forest Policy Resolution of 1952 adopted by the Government of India. It lays emphasis on sustainable forest management in order to conserve and expand forest reserve and to meet the need of local people. It is even below world's average of 29.5 percentage. Forests in India are not evenly distributed. We know that some places have more and some places have less forest cover. Nearly 60% of the forest area of our country is in the Himalayan region and in the peninsular hills and 20% is in the northern plains. Among the states, Madhya Pradesh has the largest forest cover and Goa has the least. Destruction of forests. Forests play an important role in our country's national economy, but the areas under forest are declining in recent years due to the over-exploitation of forests by man for his needs. Some of the reasons are the expansion of agricultural land. Forest areas have been cleared and converted to agricultural lands to meet the growing population's need for food. Forests are cleared to construct roads and rails. Overgrazing and irrigation. Plants are destroyed 
by animals and forest lands are cleared for irrigation projects. Industrialization and urbanization. Growth of industries in cities is another reason for decline. Forest fires or wildfires also cause destruction of forest areas. Forest fires are caused naturally or because of human's negligence. Conservation of forests. We know the importance of forests in improving our national economy. We have also seen why and how forests are destroyed and over exploited. So it is very important to conserve our forest resources for future generations also. So what is meant by conservation of forests? The prevention of destruction, over exploitation of forest and its management is called as conservation of forests. We have seen the meaning of conservation of forest. Now let us see what are the measures to conserve forest. Control of deforestation. We have to stop cutting of trees. We have to restrict animals from overgrazing. Control of forest fires. Prevention of encroachment on forest because encroachment will directly lead to the clearing of forest areas. Control of forests from insects and diseases. Controlling illegal cutting of trees. Scientific cutting of trees. If in forest trees get too crowded, they compete with each other for sunlight and water. So removing some trees can help other trees to grow big and healthy. Bring in laws to check deforestation. Encourage afforestation. Encourage people to grow more and more trees. Create awareness among the people about the importance of forests. Wildlife Sanctuaries A wildlife sanctuary is an area where animal habitats and their surroundings are protected from any sort of disturbance. It refers to a place meant for providing protection to wildlife. Capturing, killing and poaching of animals is strictly prohibited. Their main aim is to provide a comfortable living to the endangered animals and here animals are taken care of and allowed to live peacefully. There are about 523 wildlife sanctuaries in India. The important ones are Annamalai and Madhumalai in Tamil Nadu, Dandeli, Badra, Thalakaveri, BR Hills in Karnataka, Periyar in Kerala, Nagarjuna Sagar in Telangana, Bharatpur and Ranathambur in Rajasthan, Manas in Assam, Jaldapara in West Bengal. National Parks. National Parks are areas that aim to protect the natural environment. They are involved in public recreation and enjoyment activities. Here you have the definition of a national park. It is an extensive area which is specially protected to preserve its natural beauty, wildlife and forests for public recreation and scientific interest. Forestry, grazing or agricultural activities are not allowed here. There are 99 national parks in India. Some important ones are Kasiranga, Sundarban, Corbett, Gir, Kanha, Bandipur, Banargata and Nagarhole, Sariska, Dudwava, Todoba. Biosphere Reserves Biosphere Reserves are protected areas meant for the conservation of plants and animals. It also restores the traditional life of the tribals living in that area or vicinity. They conserve the biodiversity of that area. So they are a special category of protected area of land or coastal environment. Here people are also an integral part of the system. Main objectives of biosphere reserves are conservation, research, education and local involvement. The biosphere reserves are identified by the Man and Biosphere Reserve Program to promote sustainable development. This program was initiated by UNESCO in 1971. In India, we have 18 biosphere reserves. The first biosphere reserve here came into existence in 1986 at Nilgiri Hills. The other biosphere reserves are at Nanda Devi, Nokrak, Manas, Great Nicobar, Gulf of Manar, Sundarban, Simlipal, Kanchanjanga, Pachmari, Agastya Malai, Dibru, Saikova, Dihang, Dibang, etc. 
here are few evaluation questions which you can try it out. Thank you. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe.